In this video, I'm going to reveal to you the productivity tactics that I use to create some of my biggest projects. They are quite ambitious and they require a lot of work. And if you are not convinced, look at the things like my video on how I made multiplayer Terraria in just three days. And no, it's not only drinking energy drinks. I'm just a simple programmer, just like you. And I managed to do these things just by using these tactics. Most videos from other people show some productivity tools and tricks that help you write code faster, but this video is totally different. I will give you general advice to boost your productivity in an easy to follow mindset so you can remember the tips that they give you. Being productive also means being able to finish a task without getting distracted. So you might as well try that now by staying till the end of the video because trust me, you want to hear these advices. Let's start with a simple personal advice. I usually lose interest on a project after working on it for many days. So this is why I have multiple projects that I'm working at. This period, for example, I worked a lot on my bachelor's degree, but after I'm done with that, I'll start working on my Steam game. Wishlist it or I wishlist you. So maybe write down some tasks that you have to do so you can choose the one that you would like to work at the moment the most. Yes, you have to write them down. You will see why later. This brings me to the second tip and it has to do with difficult and easy tasks. Every task can be split into two categories and you already know which one switch. If you can write code while also paying attention at a Zoom class or a YouTube video, it means that the task is easy. The difficult tasks are those that require your full attention, and are also those that matter the most usually. You see, you have a limited mental capacity when you wake up and it drains with every single activity that you do. Every activity will drain a different amount of your mental capacity, with the difficult activities having the most impact, but simple activities like checking your phone will also drain it. When you want to finally do the difficult task that require a lot of your mental capacity, you won't be able to even to start it. So you will return to making simple tasks, and at the end of the day, you will feel that you haven't accomplished much. You should start your day off with the most important task, and also understand that you have a limited capacity for doing difficult stuff. I'll explain how to increase the mental capacity and prevent the easy task for draining it. But first, I'll mention that you should organize your important work into blocks. A block should be somewhere in between 1 to 3 hours, and during this time, you should stay totally focused on your work. In this way, you'll gain momentum and get into what is called the flow state. You might not trust me right now, but a single distraction like only looking at a message will flood your brain with thoughts that will completely ruin your productivity flow. If you try this for a few days, trust me that you'll never want to work with your phone near you again. Now, let's shift our focus back to the mental capacity bar right here. The first upgrade that we talked about is to work in blocks and remove all distractions. This will make sure that you use your energy as efficiently as possible. Now, you might ask yourself, how to increase the mental capacity bar? Well, it gets refilled while you are resting. So, go get a good sleep. For this, you should not eat just before going to bed, and also, sleep enough hours. Yes, I know you know who you are. A general healthy lifestyle will also increase it, so make sure you exercise every day, and also get some sun in the morning, because it will regulate your energy and your sleep. Now, there are a lot of things that drain the mental capacity bar, so let's also fix those. You should pay attention to what you eat and when you eat. You should not eat a very big meal just before you have to work. And you should also not eat junk food or processed sugars, because those also reduce your mental capacity. You don't have to be a doctor to know what food is under the category of junk food or bad sugar, but if you want a direction, try chicken, rice and vegetables. You will see all entrepreneurs eat those, because they are easy to digest and hence won't drain your energy. Lastly, you should realize that every small decision that you make during the day will also slowly drain your mental capacity. This is why you should do your important work as early as possible. There are also some tricks to prevent other decisions from draining your thinking. Always have a notebook or a piece of paper near you when you have to work. If you want to use uh, your phone, make sure to hide the notifications. Every time a random thought pops that tells you that you have to do something later or now, that doesn't have anything to do with the task at hand, write it down to clean your brain. You might not believe me yet, but trust me, you will quickly see that if you don't do that, your brain will DDoS you with that thought until you take care of it. You should also plan your day in advance. This means sketching what you have to do tomorrow and at what hour, just before going to bed. This will actually also improve your sleep. So there you have it. These simple things will allow you to use your brain at your full potential. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and share with a friend, and if you have any more questions, you can ask me directly on my Discord server. Take care.